A day we honor all of America's fallen heroes. Moving to Massachusetts, the birthplace of our nation, I understood this reverent day profoundly. In Hopkinton, we feel this day deeply, and seeing you all here today is a testament to the continuation of our devotion, to the ideals of our nation, our gratitude, and our debt to those who have upheld them. For us especially, it is a day when we remember the men and women of Hopkinton and all those brave New England soldiers who made the ultimate sacrifice. Dedicated to remembering and honoring the many Americans who have lost their lives in service, we are also here to celebrate how they lived. Because the way they lived says a lot about who they were and about who we are as a nation. We are a country of lofty values and have always held ourselves to a higher standard. And throughout history, we have seen these values reflected in those who choose to serve. What most service members have in common is that they found meaning and purpose in contributing to America's noble cause of creating a better world and helping others. This spirit is captured in the words of Ray Shahada, a U.S. citizen and Army soldier who served in Iraq in 2009 and 2010. Some of you may know Ray. He grew up in Egypt and is of Egyptian descent and now works for the town of Hopkinton in the DPW. When asked why he served, Ray said, I chose to serve because I wanted to be a part of something bigger than myself, to make a difference, to help my country. For many, like Ray, service is a calling to be part of something incredibly significant and meaningful. This calling is the same one embraced by the founders of our country, a calling to promote equality and justice for all. Major Williams has deployed and flown 307 combat hours and 279 combat support hours in support of Operation Southern Watch, Provide Comfort, Northern Watch, Enduring Freedom, and also served a ground combat tour in Iraq during Operation Inherent Resolve. His major awards and decorations include the Air Medal, Aerial Achievement Medal with one Oak Leaf Cluster, Air Force Commendation Medal with four Oak Leaf Clusters, and the Air Force Achievement Medal with one Oak Leaf Cluster. Major Williams lives in Hanscom Air Force Base with his wife Sarah and his four children, Alexander, Morgan, Jacob, and Olivia. On March 15th, 2018, just as I'm getting ready to come home in a few weeks, a UH-60 Pavehawk with seven individuals to include. And I had the distinct honor of carrying their flag covered caskets to the airplane that was going to bring them home. I have never in my life heard a more quiet ambulance ride as I sat there with Carl and Bill. We went through, we sent them home, and I came back to my, to my little hut and I called my wife and I broke down. Because all I could think about at that moment was somewhere across the ocean was a wife and children. They were aware that their loved one was not coming home alive and wondering where he was at that moment so they could hug him one more time. And little did they know that their loved one was in the back of an ambulance being placed on an airplane with a stranger. And that stranger was me. So when I think about Memorial Day, I think about those individuals. And I know that there are many in the crowd, amongst the veterans in the front, that they think of every day when Memorial Day comes around. Today is about them and the sacrifice they made so that we can enjoy the freedoms that we enjoy today. So with that, I will close with a statement that 
President Franklin Delano Roosevelt made a long time ago, but it's something that always comes to mind when I think about Memorial Day. It's not Armed Forces Day, it's not Veterans Day, it's Memorial Day to remember those that paid the ultimate price. And he said, those who have long enjoyed such privileges as we enjoy, forget in time that men and women died to win them. I only ask, that you think about that as you enjoy your Memorial Day weekend. May you have a blessed weekend, and I thank you again for listening to me speak today. Thank you.